Ari so little, man. Now, if Diddy thought he was about to out-freak R. Kelly, he got another thing coming. Ain't no way R. Kelly was about to get through 2024 being out-freaked by Diddy. The Diddler ain't got nothing on the Riddler. Well, you know what? They both weird, you know? They one to one. One of the same. Now, Diddy been showing out this year, but R. Kelly ain't giving up 2024 without a fight. Now, as we all know, R. Kelly be peeing on people. Let's cut the chase here. This dude is the real Master P. He the real Master P. Man, this dude, this dude the real P. Diddy. This dude the real P. Diddy, man. Y'all give it up for the real P. Diddy. Well, I heard this dude be peeing on everybody. Now, I'm a 90s kid, so growing up, I heard about the tapes, right? I never seen the tape, but I heard about the tape. They said R. Kelly was on this tape and the age girl, man. This dude took being pissed off to the next level. A creep, right? But boy, this dude can make some music. Step in the name of love. Step in the name of love. Hey, you mean to tell me I'm supposed to sit there and be calm if that song comes on? Dude, I don't care what y'all talking about. That's a classic. Happy people. Yeah. 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 This dude R. Kelly, boy. He won creep. But this dude was a mastermind at making music. And now, although I don't believe all of them women that came out against him, some of them is definitely lying. But this dude is 100% not innocent. I don't care how many parents gave him permission to have their underage daughters stay at their his house, his sex dungeon. Y'all know he got one of them rooms like Uncle Errol. I'm your Uncle Errol. Feel those everywhere, Vaseline. I don't care if parents gave them permission or not. Dude, you're a creep. Out of all the women in the world, fam, you're R. Kelly. All you have to do is say, ooh, yeah. Hold on. That's the other dude. What's that dude name? KC and JoJo. That's them dude. My bad. All you got to do is say, I don't want to hurt nobody, but there's something I must confide. Ooh. I don't see nothing wrong. A little freak yourself. You ashamed of yourself, dude. This dude was clapping in Leah's cheeks when she was underage. Ride the boat, ride the boat. And I don't even want to know what boat she was talking about being rocked no more. This dude messed up the whole song for me. I be trying to tell y'all, man, nobody don't listen. These, these old entertainers, not even just rappers and R&B singers, but movie actors, all of this. They were creeps, fam. I remember uh, somebody showed me an N.W.A. song. This dude talking about sticking a broomstick up a, up a underage girl up, bro. Like, this is the thing these dudes was talking about. MC Light. Oh, I like him young. He just 16. Y'all was strange as hell, fam. Rest in peace to DMX, DMX too. Well, that was passing around a lead like a hot potato. That little bitty girl. That entire arrow was just creepy. Like, we got to do some investigation, man. Bill Cosby and all this chocolate pudding pop. Dude, is that like some metaphor or something? You like sticking your... <laughs> your pudding pop in people's chocolate? Well, back to R. Kelly. As you can see from the title, this dude own daughter even coming out now. Saying he used to touch her, fool. Now, this article is from Billboard. Let's check it out. R. Kelly's daughter claims Sanger actually abused her as a child. I was too scared to tell anybody. His now 26-year-old daughter said in a two-part documentary. R. Kelly's daughter, Buku Abi, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. She's claiming in a new documentary that her father sexually abused her as a child. He made an accusation in the two-part series, R. Kelly's uh, Karma, A Daughter's Journey, which premiered through the TVEI streaming network 
on October 11th. I never heard of that network a day of my life. But then again, hey, I don't watch TV, for Well, I watch TV like YouTube, Netflix, streaming platforms. But cable, yeah, to each his own. But let's continue. He was my everything. For a long time, I didn't even want to believe that it happened. I didn't know that even if he was a bad person, that he would do something to me. Abby, whose legal name is Joanne Kelly. I'm going to be real. I'm going to just call you Joanne Kelly. That's much easier than Abby. Uh, I forgot it already. No disrespect. But she said she was too scared to tell anybody. She was scared to tell her mom. In the second episode, she claims the abuse was when she was eight or nine years old. I just remember waking up to him touching me. She tearfully recalls. And I didn't know what to do. So I just kind of laid there and I pretended to be asleep. From that moment on, I was a different person. She initially reported this abuse uh, to her mom back in uh, 2009. The complaint was filed under Jane Doe, but the statute of limitations ran out. They couldn't prosecute him because I waited too long, she said. So at that point in my life, I felt like I said something or nothing. Now, R. Kelly's attorney uh, denies these allegations. Well, he relayed a message that R. Kelly denies these allegations. However, R. Kelly's uh, ex-wife, which is this child's mother, she made the same allegations years ago. Nothing happened. R. Kelly is currently serving 30 years in prison after he was convicted of racketeering and sex trafficking charges in 2021. In 2022, Kelly was also convicted of six counts of child, P-word, and enticing a minor to engage in sexual activity. The first two episodes are also blah, 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 blah. Y'all get the picture. This dude so freaky, he crashed out. Dude got so horny, he started touching his daughter, bro. Like, you know how sick you gotta be to do that? Now, it is innocent until proven guilty. He's denying these allegations, so you can't say he's guilty. But fam, that doesn't sound like she's lying. She, she filed a complaint back in 2009, bro. That doesn't sound like somebody that's trying to get some money. That sounds like somebody who wanted justice. But yeah, that's about it for this video. This is for certainly not looking good for R. Kelly. Hopefully he's not guilty of this. But if he is, dude, this ain't even about facing a judge anymore. Your own daughter fam. You want to have to face God. That's who you're going to have to answer today. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram, TZF, baby, 252. Just keep it on the down low. Ain't nobody has to know. Well, we done found out too late. Man, we should have known this dude was up to no good. Over there smashing Ron Osley girl while he gone. What the? It's going on between the sheets and my own. Baby, when it means playing the way you start to punch a game. Girl, I'm about to have a fit. Oh, it's about to be some shit. How did I get into this? You never came home with this. This dude always into something. Smashing Ron Osley, girl. Smashing other people, girl. Now he got to hide in closets. In the closet. Man, that was your way of coming out on it. In the closet. Man, I hate this dude makes so much great music. I can't even hate. Boy, you one talented, creepy individual. I'll give you that, but I'm gone.